What the f caused Bella the Wolf to be doing all this shit? What are you talking about? Hey, you broke yourself. You got no paper. You didn't even got toilet paper. You're too white-ass with a bomb, Dr. Squatch. Oh, yeah. That. All right, people, what's up? Today, I found the most disgusting gotcha life tuber of all time. Bella, why did you be mean to Technoblade? He's contributed nothing. To this world. Audience, I introduce you to Bella the Wolf. Now, for the few people in the room that's wondering why I'm making a video about a YouTuber with 20,000 subscribers, well, that is because this person, Bella, has been under a ton of controversy in recent time. And I would tell you each controversy one by one, but I'm just gonna put this shit on the screen fucking Star Wars mode. And we're just gonna go one by one of each controversy and explain it from there. Grab your popcorn, ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna get pretty Fucking bad. You good. Please don't call me twin. I don't look like you, bad bitch, and I'm cocky. Make a hate and how uncomfortable. Part one, ladies and gentlemen, mocking religion. Now, audience, I could show you every single video of Bella the Wolf mocking religion, Jesus, Allah, you name it. Whether that is killing Jesus, stabbing him with the knife, or saying that God and Allah and Jesus are fucking bullshit, and you should only follow Bella for the rest of your life. Just saying some overall very horrible shit about religion, something that uh, I I nobody should be proud of. But uh, if your goal was to be like Bella the Wolf and make the best rage bait videos possible, possible to go viral and make everybody hate you and become public enemy number one, then yeah, you're gonna be pretty fucking successful. Talk about a waste of fucking editing talent. Now, bear in mind, audience, the editing in this video is not actually that fucking good. I was joking. This editing is absolute dog shit. But the very minimal skill that you do have, you refuse to make it for something actually good on this fucking website. This girl really spent a few hours in what is it, fucking cap cut, and learn how to cook up some hot ass of you chasing Jesus around with a knife and stabbing him to death. Do you feel like a winner, Bella? Do you feel like a real fucking producer? productive human being on this planet because I sure don't fucking think so. But hey, you're the one that's mocking religion. You're the one that's mocking Jesus and Allah and everybody else. I'm just saying, Bella, that karma may or may not exist and it may or may not be coming to you. I sincerely hope you realize that all this rage bait and shit, there's no light at the end of the tunnel for this. There's no way to get out of this unless you delete all your social media because you are inevitably gonna get harmed eventually. The internet, it's just fucking crazy like that. And with the rest of the Shit that we're covering, you're well on your way to actually getting attacked. Okay, what the f are you guys even doing in this video? You're beating Jesus with what? What is that? A fucking tire? Listen, I get why people are angry at Bella the Wolf for this shit. It's pretty fucking disrespectful. But really, motherfucker, beating him with a tire? This is just fucking stupid at this point. Now, granted, there's a whole ton of videos on Bella the Wolf's TikTok where she does absolutely absurd shit to Jesus and Allah and religion. I really did just cherry pick the few family friendly videos that was on her YouTube channel. Because, uh, not gonna lie, I don't want to get banned off of my own platform. I kind of have more subscribers and a lot more to lose than Bella the Wolf. So I'm kind of walking on eggshells here. But aside from her stabbing Jesus, killing Jesus, and whatever the fuck else she does, she also said this about religion. Do you think you're better than all gods of all religions? Like truly, including Allah. Of course. And anyone who thinks otherwise is delusional. Yeah, pretty fucking crazy. I mean, granted, this is all rage bait content and it is working across her YouTube channel, her TikTok and everything else and everybody's falling for it. So whenever she says a bunch of crazy shit like this, should we really be surprised here? This girl is literally acting like me in eighth grade where I would purposefully say the most edgy shit of all time just to hope to God somebody laughs at me. What I'm saying is that she's unfunny, Kind of like Meowba from two years ago. They both love using shitty art 
favorite Undertale music and making the worst jokes imaginable. If anything, Bella the Wolf might be the same person as Meowba. Maybe they are the same fucking person. <laughs> to audience mocking Technoblade's death, and yes, we are escalating to this point this quickly in the video. I mean, really, what the f*** do I have to say? You're mocking a victim of cancer, you're mocking Technoblade's death, somebody that everybody loved, a person that put a smile on quite literally everybody's face and did absolutely no harm to the world. And in 2024, you decided to have the great idea to mock his death in front of everybody. This rage bait is quite literally the definition of give me as many views as I can so I can cash out and get the f*** out. I know why you're making these videos, Bella. It gets you a lot of money, so a lot of people are gonna see it, and a lot of people are gonna hate on you. Because regardless of how many people hate you, if they're continuing to watch your videos, YouTube is gonna pay top dollar for that shit. Oh, what's that? A YouTuber's getting millions of views for mocking another big YouTuber's death? YouTube loves that shit. They're gonna fucking pay your left and right. Now, I'm not saying that this is YouTube's fault, the reason Bella the Wolf is getting a lot of money from these videos or anything like that like that. I'm not saying that Coca-Cola and Disney should pull their ads from YouTube for the seventh time in the past 10 years. I'm saying that from people's videos like my video, Pat God's video, and Ty Records video, as long as we keep making videos about this absolute piece of shit, she's gonna stay relevant. But the very least that we could do is spread awareness about the bullshit that's going on with this gotcha tuber, especially with her breaking community guidelines and the illegal shit that she's been doing as of recently. I'm not saying for anybody to go report her channel. Wink, wink. But if she were to hypothetically get banned after my video was released, I would not be sad about it and I would not shed a tear. She's a piece of shit with a lot of controversy that we still need to go over. Reading my Discord questions, part five. Bella, why did you be mean to Technoblade? He's contributed nothing to this world. Oh, please tell me, Bella, what the f have you contributed to the world? As far as we know, you have done all these controversies, made me want to bleach my eyes because of your shitty fucking art, and you've said nothing but disrespectful sh to absolutely everybody. How are you gonna be public enemy number one, but still say that you contributed more to the world than Technoblade? Oh yeah, that's right, Rage Bait. All he did was play Minecraft. That is not a career. And somehow you stabbing Jesus to death is a career? Bro, are you f me? I refuse to believe that this is not rage bait. Either this person is very mentally ill and shouldn't be on YouTube or shouldn't be on the internet to begin with, or this person is a very calculated edge lord that knows how to make people pissed off at them and make a fuck load of money in the process. Personally, if you want my opinion, I think it's the second one by a fucking long shot. <laughs> Controversy number... I fucking lost count. Controversy threatening Ty Records. Recently, Mr. Ty Records has made a video explaining the terrible behavior of this YouTuber. And uh, Bella the Wolf saw the video and I don't think that she liked the video that he made. I'll just let Ty Records himself explain it. So the other day I uploaded a video exposing the most toxic gotcha life creator, Bella the Wolf. And her response was nothing the less art of her decapitating my head. Her staff and close friends also joined in posting art of me getting whipped, stomped to the ground, and even hanged. She of course also made fake DMs, which if she was good at, would have obviously gotten my profile pic right at least. Thankfully a lot of you guys were smart and didn't jump the gun, especially when it's coming from a person like Bella the Wolf, who lies and says I'm an EDP, I have a OF, and still says things like this about Technoblade who passed away from cancer for no reason. Great news is her toxic TikToky did get banned. Her main Discord account, it got suspended. But again, Discord does need to get contacted about that server because they constantly promote doxing and disgusting things in that server. She's been saying she's gonna sue me, she's trying to get thousands of people to report my account. All I gotta say is I love you guys, thanks for the support, and hopefully we can put an end to this immediately, bro. Yeah, very sad shit. Not really too much to say there, but everybody should be supporting Ty Records during this situation. But anyways, controversy number four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten. I don't know. Here it is. <laughs>
I'm just so tired of life I know it can't be a bitch Can't wait till I'm rich I'll still be bored as shit But I'll keep my screws on the hinge I'm finding myself I got a gun on the shelf Luckily just to protect Safety is check Looking up Audience, for anybody that is in your family That serves in the Marines, Air Force, Army Any of that bullshit Well, guess what? Bella fucking hates them too The same people that fight for her freedom In the United States of America She fucking hates them too Because according to Bella the Wolf Apparently the armed forces only kill innocent people, which is a very backwards and stupid thing to say. Because if you didn't have the military and police and all that other stuff, this shit's gonna be more crime ridden than GTA Online. Please remember me, be my energy, be the beast in me. Be yeah, I could see how this is gonna strike a few people's heart chords. You could talk about religion, you could talk about Jesus, you could talk about Technoblade, but don't you talk about hurting animals. Bro, this girl is quite literally speedrunning every single thing that everybody loves and tries her fucking hardest to get everybody to hate her. And she's doing a great fucking job. I mean, look at my comment section right now. Everybody's shitting on Bella. Shit, I mean, look at her comment section. It's much worse. Motherfuckers be like, like, who hate Bella the Wolf? Down emoji. I'm not saying that I disagree with you, but if you don't like Bella, then just don't watch her fucking videos. The best way for her to no longer get publicity is if you don't watch the video and just report her and leave. Now, I'm not saying that you guys should go directly after this video and go report Bella the Wolf, wink wink, but I'm just saying. All this shit that we've covered so far, it's pretty fucking bad. Especially the shit with Thai Records, that's actually breaking community guidelines to tell your fan base to go spam report another YouTuber. That's legitimately something that she could get banned for. So at this point, honestly, it's just a matter of time. And with this next controversy, honestly, this might just be the nail in the coffin. Yesterday, some girl or some person who goes on the internet by Bella the Wolf. You could tell that this mom has no idea what the f*** is going on. This mom really came straight out of Facebook to defend her son from Bella the Wolf. That's crazy. Um, put my son, and here he is. That's Mal's. Put Mal's number on a Discord server, said that it was hers, and told people to call. Since then, Mal's has gotten over 500 text messages, over 200 phone calls and voicemails that we've had to deal with. So at this point, I am going to have to change Mouse's number. I had some of the kids and some of the people that were contacting us was saying, hey, I'll put it on a Discord server that you said you want her to take it down, that this is not his number. And I thank the people who did that. There are people who have made TikTok videos, people who have put it on Discord and said, hey, you gave out a 10-year-old child's phone number. He's getting all these spam calls. But the worst part about it was... Um, today, I checked his phone while he was at school, and there was voicemails and text messages saying the N-word with the N-I-G-G-E-R. You know, and I don't know if they're seeing that he's black, I'm black. I don't know if they're sending that towards this whoever Bella the Wolf is. There was pictures sent that were very, very inappropriate for a 10-year-old, inappropriate for me, and I'm 41 years old. That is actually fucking crazy. Now, audience, in case you think that this mom is lying or anything like that, I mean, r really, motherfucker, you think this boomer is lying? She was literally saying Bella the Wolf like she was unsure what she was even fucking talking about. She's telling the truth. I can only imagine the types of messages that this 10-year-old boy actually got from Bella's followers, especially knowing the type of content that Bella already posts on her YouTube channel. I imagine inappropriate voicemails, inappropriate images, and videos being sent to this kid. Completely uncalled for activity. In my opinion, this is actually one of the worst things that Bella has ever done so far. Like, this isn't no rage bait or edgy jokes or anything like that. You put a 10-year-old boy in danger. This audience is by far the worst thing that she has done. But anyways, let's get to the highlight of this video. The Controversy with Pat God, baby. Anyways, this controversy pretty much began whenever Bella the Wolf uploaded a video about Steak and his dog.
yeah, pretty shitty thing to do. Anyway, since this video has been posted, Pat God and Steak and Bell of the Wolf somehow, some way, got in a Discord call. And uh, that video was uploaded onto Pat God's YouTube channel, and that video was just, uh, oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> and since Pat God posted this video about Bella the Wolf and absolutely destroying her in a Discord call, she's uploaded two YouTube videos since this video has come out. After you got completely packed by Pat God and Steak in a Discord call, you decided to upload a gay fan cam of them. Talk about taking a fucking L, holy shit. And speaking of gay shit, she also made Allah and Jesus start mooching on camera. That was the second video that she posted, which, again, what the fuck? Well, anyways, yeah, fuck Bella the Wolf. Everybody subscribe, let's get me to 5 mil.